the Mademoiselle, and this is my channel. And today we're gonna be talking about hating being a trend. Now, I actually touched on this a couple of times on my main channel, and I made a dedicated video about this or some variation of this on my channel before, and I will link it down below. But we're mainly going to be talking about how now it seems like a lot of people have been trying to act like they don't remember how bad they bullied foreign Haitian children or other foreign um, black children because it actually is starting to bother the hell out be let's talk let's have a little hot to hot okay i'm gonna be saying african-american to make things fast i understand some people like to be called black american some people like to be called black i'm sorry i'm just gonna say african-american to make things go faster sometimes i just say both but I, we're just gonna say african-american to make things faster i apologize if you're offended by that so if you guys did not watch that video i made or if you guys are not familiar with me hi i'm ivana come on how you doing today so first things first subscribe i have new new merchandise you know okay i know Follow my main channel. I do social issues, motivation advice over there. Get instead when confer on t guyad over there, you know? Do a little one-on-one -on -one consultations through my other business or whatever. I do a lot. So first things first, this video can apply to multiple types of people. This can apply to basically anybody that comes from any other country that migrated to America or anybody who is the child of a direct immigrant that came to America and was bullied for that. Because children of migrants go through a very, very different type of experience that a lot of people do not speak about. I did a video on that that I will link down below. It's, it's very annoying when like eventually all the bullying stops and all of a sudden your culture becomes your trend and all the people that used to bully you or didn't stand up for you now are acting like you know all of a sudden now it's cool to be you and it's like oof no <laughs> now we got that out of the way um a little background on me so i come from elizabeth new jersey sac Pasadena, jake park what up and i was a child of an immigrant so my parents come from haiti but i was born here i was born in long island it slipped to be exact and i was one of those lucky children that ended up going to cat Public school but all my friends ended up going to public school and I was there every day with them kicking it okay and it was no secret that they always got made fun of and I didn't understand why and it wasn't until like maybe I was like maybe six seven that I found out like oh okay I'm Haitian like I'm different from these other you know kids that look like me like okay we're all black but I'm Haitian eventually when I started hanging out with my other friends that didn't go to the same Catholic school as me I realized like okay so we're all Haitian Haitian, but they're other black kids and they're making fun of us we all look the same but we're Haitian they're not Haitian and they don't like us because we're Haitian I was kind of early when I made that distinction and that's when of course the bullying came the African booty scratcher jokes the throwing sticks at us the throwing rocks at us in Elizabeth it was very very dangerous to be Haitian like I'm not joking I'm not over exaggerating it was really really bad personally as I started getting older I had friends on both sides I had Haitian friends I had African American friends and where I'm from lots of of Hispanic people fought on our side but then there were a couple Hispanic people that did fight on the African American side they were half and half it really depended so I was that mixy person I guess I have friends everywhere and a lot of people did not like that so I was a real target like people did not like that okay the Haitians didn't like it the Americans didn't like it but at the end of the day I was like we're all niggas I don't give a shit and it used to be so annoying because they would literally try to get me to give up the locations so they could fight each other and if you guys are thinking that this is like some little oh let's let's fight let's duke it out no, no, no. I'm talking about weapons. I'm talking about nunchucks. I'm talking about spikes. I'm talking about guns. I'm talking about knives. I'm talking about like my friends died. Okay, this this is a very serious thing. It was to the point where we literally went to school from 7:30 a.m. and got out of school at 3:56 every single day because they thought it would stop us from fighting. Even though I went to Catholic school my whole life, by high school I decided to go to public school because I decided my parents could not afford it. And you guys are probably like, who are you to say your parents couldn't afford it? Listen, you guys have watched my other story times. You would know I've been evicted numerous times. I've been homeless twice. My parents could not afford it. I knew my parents' finances for a very long time. I was very, very good at noticing things and knowing things. When you're sitting in a hallway for hours, because you know you gotta pick in your door, because you know the sheriff came to lock your door because your parents ain't paid the rent. When you're sitting in the office in school because your parents ain't pay your tuition, you know your parents can't afford it. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? So I decided, okay, I'm going to go to public school. My parents were scared. They thought I was gonna die. Like this was a, a, a ordeal. My parents did not want me to go to public school, but I was like, bro, now I'm going. <laughs> 
I don't regret it one bit. I love my high school to death. By the time I got to junior year, it was very different. But my freshman and sophomore year, oh my God, it was bad. It was scary. And I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like, it was one of those things where I used to be terrified. And you guys will probably think, oh, okay, it was just an after school. No, 7.30 a.m., it was bad too. So I would literally wake up for school to like get ready for school, maybe like 5.45. I'll probably be out the door at like 6.30 because you know, I need to get my snacks and I had to go pick up friends because we would never walk to school by ourselves because we risked getting jumped in the morning. Yeah, I had to fight in the morning too, okay? Like it was it was that serious, we had to fight in the morning. So imagine, you shower, you eat, and you get to school. By the time it's first period, you already got into a fight. You already got dirt on your clothes. Like that shit don't even make sense. Who got time for that? And the Americans was getting into fights too. So it was both sides. It was just like all of this madness. Don't even ask me where it started because from what I understand, there's a lot of the teachers that actually went to Elizabeth High School like when they were in high school and they said the fighting started since then too. So we don't even know where all of this started. Like at all. It actually stopped now. Them kids living like we got local. I heard they got at like two something now. I'm like what the fuck? They had us in school for practically four o'clock. We got at 356. Four o'clock practically. And now they, they live in a life. That's the, a long story long. Even outside of that, social media. Ew, who the fuck wants to be Haitian? Oh, y'all ugly as hell. Oh, y'all dusty as hell. Every single time Haiti comes out in the news and something happens, oh, they so poor. Oh, they so ugly. Why are they country always in disarray? Why are they country always in the news? Which is really crazy because most of the things that happen in Haiti happen to mainly all of the surrounding countries too. But for whatever reason, Haiti's just always in the news. It doesn't make sense. All our dirty laundry is always in the news. But everyone else goes through the same shit, but no one ever talks about it. And it's very very infuriating and then to see the comments of people just talking shit all day every day when there's a Haitian celebrity when there's a Haitian holiday where there's a Haitian song that people like where there's a Haitian design or just just anything remotely Haitian you see just those minute people those people that either never wanted to claim that they were Haitian those people that were talking shit about Haitians those people that let the Haitians get killed people that let the Haitians get bullied those people that didn't give a fuck about what a Haitian was oh my god look at all my zones I love my zones I love Love being Haitian, hey, ça passe ma boule. It'd be worse when it be the girls that be out here talking about some sac passe. Oh, my baby's Haitian because her father's Haitian. Like you're so comfortable sucking Haitian dick and eating Haitian food because your baby's Haitian. Meanwhile, you was so comfortable bullying Haitians, beating up Haitian people. And now you have the nerve gall that's to be touching Haitian flag. I really hope that flag burns in your fucking hands. Now, a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, but you should be happy someone's repping your country, bitch. Are you fucking stupid? You think that we want charity cases? You think that we we want people out here faking liking our country you think that we want people out here like literally just lying saying they're Haitian for the benefit of us what the fuck do we get what do we get for people lying do you think that we're desperate for that do you think like we care like do you really think that if you if you think that please click off just stop don't even comment you're gonna get blocked just don't it really bothers me it, it really does because it's just like and I'm not the only one trust me every Haitian hates this not only do we not need it we do not want it it's not appreciated at all it's just fake it's fake and it's disgusting just like how a lot of you guys don't like when fucking white girls wear braids and then don't give no type of reverence, don't even know what the hell the braids mean. And then when we wear braids, we're dirty, we're disgusting, we're unprofessional. But then when they wear it, they're beautiful, they're cool. It's the same thing. When we're Haitian, we're disgusting, we're dirty, we ain't shit. But when you're repping Haiti, you're cool, right? You're foreign. Shut the fuck up. There's so many people out there that had to lie about being Haitian to survive. Whether we're talking about Jersey, Boston, Austin, Florida, or wherever else. There's people out there that had to lie about being Haitian. Couldn't claim being Haitian publicly out of fear of being beat the fuck up. That is deep. So for people to be out here, oh, I'm Haitian. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just because you're sucking dicks so, up. Ah. And for those of you guys who are with people that aren't Haitian that are doing that, please stop it. Now, listen, I feel like part of the problem is that a lot of Haitians, myself included, we like to give the whole honorary Haitian card okay Haitian by association situation and I don't think that's that big of a deal except for when people really go around actually 
actually claiming it. Like, it's one thing to be joking, right? Like, I wouldn't mind, like, making merch that says honorary Haitian or Haitian by association. I don't think that's a problem. It's when people actually claim that they're Haitian and they're not. Or when people actually try to act like they have experiences and they're not. Like, it's just, it, it's honestly Haitian fishing. Or just like when people black fish or when people Asian fish. People Haitian fish, people African fish, people Hispanic fish, people Native American fish, or whatever the proper terms are for those things. People literally be out here acting like they're from specific places. Act like they're of different races and ethnicities all the time just for brownie points. Meanwhile, there's people actually dying because they're part of these cultures and people don't give a fuck. They just want to be cool. They just want to get some likes. They just want to use a damn hashtag to get some reach. And it's like, are you guys really fucking kidding me right now? Do you guys really think this is okay? There's some people that I know that deny their ethnicities mainly because they are embarrassed. They have parents that literally are not connected at all to where they're from. And their parents never teach them anything, never tell them to be proud of where they're from. So they're not proud of where they're from. And I can't blame them for that. I feel like that's a whole nother thing. But when you're becoming an adult, I feel like it is your duty to do things that you need to, to be connected with who you are, to be connected with where you're from, to be connected with you as a human being. That's just my thing about it. If you need mental help, go get it. If you need to know who you are, go do it. If you need to, you know, be grounded, manifest whatever it is, go do it. It comes to a point where like you're 35 and you're you're blaming the system, you're blaming your parents, you're blaming your ex. It's like, it's not an excuse anymore. Stop making problems for yourself at this point. Stop sitting here blaming everybody else. It's your fault now, cause you're grown as fuck. And then, you know, there's other people that actually claim to be other races and ethnicities because, you know, they, they, they're, they're, they're afraid, like I said. And then there's people that are definitely other races that claim to be Haitian or Jamaican or Nigerian or whatever the case may be, mainly because they want to feel a sense of belonging. And I completely understand that. And that one, I can't really feel bad for and that one I can say I never really thought about until recently. I have a lot of friends that are African American that I grew up with that I love like they're Haitian. I keep forgetting that they're not Haitian. I kid you not. They know Creole. They listen to Haitian music. They eat Haitian food. My parents have accepted them into my house like they're fucking Haitian. Will they go around saying they're Haitian? No. But they'll be like, yeah, I'm black and white or yeah, I'm black but my best friend's Haitian. Um, como ye? Because you know, I taught them some Creole. So in that regard, I don't think that that's a bad thing, right? I don't Think that's the issue it's people that try to act like they're something and try to pass it off like they're something just for the likes just for the notoriety just just so they're cool right 10 years ago everybody that wasn't african-american or wasn't a black american was an african booty scratcher was every freaking racial slur in the book just shut the fuck up it's not cute and i understand that there are a lot of black people in general even if you do have a background where it doesn't trade back to america there's a lot of people that know that they're from other places that don't have that connection so when they meet a Haitian right when they meet a Jamaican when they meet um, a Nigerian a Liberian a South African a Botswanan or whatever they kind of want to be friends with them right they want to resonate with them because like oh my god another black person that speaks another language another black person that has another culture they dance to different music they eat different food this is cool I want to know where they're from I feel like that's a really genuine thing I feel like that's a beautiful thing and even me I'm Haitian I have my own culture bro and I see different black people speaking other languages i'm like bro where are they from i want to know what you do this you know what you eat like i'm that interested am i about to claim it no okay i wear african clothes all the time and people will sit there and be like oh are you african i'm like no i'm asian but this is where this is from this is the da -da -da. like i'll literally like take my time to learn every time i go to an african shop and i buy african clothes i'm like oh where are you from you're from ghana Oh my God, thank you. What what type of dress is this called? Like I try to well verse myself, not just, okay, wear it, get the likes and da, da, da. Like I'll tag the businesses. You guys go on my Instagram, you'll see the businesses tag. Like I'm not about to sit there and just collect on the shit. You know, you gotta actually try to care about what you're doing at least. At the very least, it's the least you could do. You know, it's, it's just really sad to see people who didn't care about something ever. Oh Lord, so cool life. Shit. And it, it's crazy because at the end of the day, my life is not a trend, y'all. My culture's not a trend. Niggas had to fight for their life, <laughs> literally. And now everybody just thinks it's cute, okay? Give respect where it's due. If you really like a culture, that's cool, but just give the credit. Actually learn about it. Actually, you know, be a good person, all right? Get to know the people in that culture, all right? Do the research, actually make friends in that culture, okay? Even if you used to bully people in that culture, shit. Don't apologize to the people 
you used to fucking bully. Like, how hard is that? Really hard, right? Because it's hard to look in the mirror. You just want to forget. They ancestors not gonna forget, though. I guarantee you, bad shit goes keep happening to you. You think your life is bad just because you quit your job? No, it's probably because that person's ancestors is coming to get you. Go make you never forget what the fuck you did to that person. I guarantee it. I guarantee you, all them little girls that that jumped me, all them little girls that literally fought me for no reason off guard. You know, they sitting there, thirty plus, living on public assistance, multiple kids, don't know who the baby daddies is, no job, no school, no businesses no anything miserable as hell mad as hell sad as hell ugly as hell you know what i'm gonna stop right there <laughs> anyways with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that follow my main channel get your merchandise and with that being said bye i'm gonna see y'all next time